In this video, we're going to work on the Alex problem called finding x and y intercepts of a line given the equation advanced. So this problem is going to give us the equation of a line and it wants us to figure out the y intercept and also the x intercept of that line. And I think that it might be helpful to just, I'm just going to sketch a random line. It is not, I'm not sketching the line represented by the equation that's given to us. I'm just going to sketch a random line so that we can remind ourselves what the intercepts represent. Um, starting with the y-intercept, the y-intercept is the point along the y-axis. It's the point where our line crosses the y-axis. When we're trying to find the y-intercept, that means we're trying to find the value along the y-axis of this point right here. We don't know what it is. But what we do know is that where our line crosses the y-axis at this point right here, we know that the value of x equals zero. So at the y-intercept, at the y-intercept, x is equal to zero. And that is also true for the x-intercept. The x-intercept is the place where our line crosses the x-axis. And at that point, what we do know is that y is equal to zero. So with that information, we're going to take this equation, negative 9x plus 3y equals 10. And if we are trying to solve for the y-intercept, I'm going to do that first. I know at that place, the value of x equals zero. So I'm going to plug zero in as my x value, and then I'm going to solve zero plus 3y equals 10. 3y equals 10, y equals 10 thirds. That is my y intercept. And to do the x intercept, I'm basically going to do the exact same thing. At the x intercept, I know that the value of y is equal to zero. So I'm going to plug zero in for y in my equation, and I get negative 9x equals 10. And that gives me x equals negative 10 over 9.